Hey guys, second floor for two years today. This is another zero zero webpost.com tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudflare on your zero zero dot, uh, dot com website. First thing you want to do is there are three things you want to log into, and one of them if you haven't got an account, you need to set up. First of all, you want to log into the zero uh, zero webpost.com members uh, cPanel. We all know how to do that. Uh, then you want to open. You don't need to open up your website, but you can if it's new. You should see a page like this without uh, a couple of things down there, but we don't need that open. The next thing you want to log into is your domain registrar. So that can be anyone from GoDaddy to CheapNames.com, but in this example we are using uh, .tk, which is a free domain, a top level free domain. It's great-ish, except when they randomly have downtime for no apparent reason. So uh, the domain we're working on here is this one at the bottom. The first thing you want to go and do is you want to set up your account here. You want to lock, if it's obviously you're using another domain, you want to set up it you want to uh, put in, if, you, if you're one of these, you have to put in that, the DNS server names for 00webhost.com. I recommend doing this straight off, and then you switch them over, which you'll have to in the next bit in this tutorial. Once you've done that, you click OK, change changes. Uh, the message that will hear will go away. As you can see, so this is now set up with 00.com uh, DNS servers, which is perfectly fine, except sometimes uh, they can go down, which isn't so good. So the next thing you want to do is... Uh, once you've logged into that, we'll leave this for the time being, just leave that like it is. Uh, you want to go over to cloudflare.com. If you haven't got an account, um, it is relatively simple. Just give me a sec and I'll open this up to see what people who haven't got an account um, have to do. You obviously, you just go on to cloudflare.com, go sign up, and then you need to put in your email address, confirm email address, which is an unusual, most people don't do that. Uh, pick a username, pick a password, it has to be six, has to be six characters, make it strong. Uh, confirm password, agree, agree, agree to their uh, terms of use, and the next bit is um, selecting a website. And but this you'll all see on here. Following the steps on the in this bit is relatively easy. Following the steps on the once you have one account set up is very easy. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to get the domain name of your website. In this example, we're going to be use web web hosting h tk. We're going to go add website. And what this is now doing is, as you can see here, performing scan records, performing 60 second record scan. This is going to uh, zero web, is it try, going to finding out things about your domain name. Actually, the example of the thing, I can show you what it is actually uh, finding by using uh, a tool I came across into DNS.com. Um, it'll go to the DNS server and it'll find zero, as you can see, zero is in webhost.com. Finds out it's enough from .tk. It gets all this information that it needs to know to be able to set up uh, Cloudflare on your domain. And it has some, there are some issues with the zero is webhost.com things for some reason, but it won't affect the uh, thing here. So we're going through and it's just doing that. It's just finding the information it needs to know for. Um, things. So the other thing, once you have this, you have apps you can add on, like things saying your browser is not compatible with this uh, version. Uh, you're, you're in that browser, for example, there's an Explorer one that isn't compatible, you could say that. Uh, and Analytics is like Google Analytics, but it's better because it uses the fact of people going through their uh, network instead of Google, which uses a JavaScript piece of code. As you can see here, now it says continue setup, domain name record scanned. So we're going to continue setup. And now, this is where, in theory, he says. It says confirm your DNS zone that list below. Our system has found many records, as many records as possible, but it's important you verify these are listed here. Decide the subdomains you want on and off in Cloudflare. This as this will come in handy later if you need to change them. Uh, with that it says it's going through Cloudflare, that means it will go right it will ignore the Cloudflare network, it will go past it. Uh, so what we have down here is we have the domain. What it uses, it uses an A record because you can't you have to change the domain name servers. It uses an A record, so we have the thing for the um, email. I have not yet tested when I've run something through an email client. I don't know if it will still work like it should. I have never tested that, and we have the same one for the uh, www dot, and then a couple of A records related to the IP addresses. The IP address itself should be one related to your domain. For example, that one there, or that one there. It's more like to be this one here. Should have got one like that. But uh, anyway, so the next thing you want to do, this, uh, you shouldn't need to change this. I haven't yet need to change things. I have added things, but uh, you shouldn't need to. I've added any missing records. And continue. Read really, that. Should be just continue. Myself. Uh, what it does here is now you can choose your plan. 
which for example in this one is free the pro one is 20 pounds a month and the uh, business one is 200 which in my opinion they need one in the middle there but uh, the pro one which is professional supposedly is quite uh, good but then again the free one the idea is basically um, freeing up your uh, not freeing up, uh, speeding up your site, sorting out bandwidth limits because most web hosts or free web hosts have bandwidth limits because it's running through their thing. It sort of cancels out the bandwidth uh, limit because it's coming off their servers. Most of it, most of it's coming off their servers, not zero zero webhost.com servers. And there's some other things: use server load and uses bandwidth and less bandwidth. And this is where you can have. Uh, this is one the record they recommend this one, the faster basic one, which is the performance settings for the how much it caches the site. Um, speeding up load times now security uh, and they recommend medium I currently have it on high I believe because it was coming up a lot of things that were looked a bit dodgy in the threats panel which is reasonable there are a few uh, low basically says that uh, users will only be challenged if they repeatedly engage in spam and hacking and something and the medium is one that people known things will have a catcher come up which if it's a spam bot it won't be able to get past so it won't be allowed onto your site and high is it's the entire security level they do um you can also with a paid one you can put an a uh, secure like they have on this page a the, a the not the highest level secure description but from it won't as people know you cannot put a secure description on zero zero webpost.com you can only you can do it through their server to your site not to uh, the Cloudflare network to your site and, and then not onto the actual server your site's hosted on. It's just the sort of that little bit. It would be secure, but you do unfortunately have to pay for that. I'd like to have that anyway. Uh, the next thing we have here is updating your server names. Final step is to update your server names to for uh, webhostinghtk. Uh, this is relatively simple. You just have to go over to your uh, registrar, which as I said, you need to log into. The three things you need to log into. Click modify or whatever the button will be. Change domain names. Uh, sorry, server names, and you just want to uh, edit, paste in the new ones. Um, you don't need, for some reason, uh, with uh, .tk, it doesn't require you, even though it has a uh, IP address. When you put them in originally, it doesn't. It, it just ignores the fact there's an IP address. You don't need it, and I don't know what the IP addresses for those two domains are anyway. So we're just going to click Save Changes. That will cancel out. And I've updated my server names. Has the thing about frequent ask questions if you're stuck. I'd be surprised if you were, and uh, this will now check the fact that the server names have been updated. Gradually, you've certainly set up. We we backended the server same days. It updates all these things. Um, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, which is quite nice. And then still clear that there's a plugin you can get. There's a whitelist of things providing, and what you'll have now. Finish up waiting your surname and to change to that. Please allow the register up to 24 hours this is the thing it depends on the registrar it can be from 24 hours to 72 hours but normally I would have said when I set up the Ucreators website which is again on .tk it took about I would have said 24 hours but I'm not sure because it's hard to tell when you're at the beginning when your site is or isn't it will um, come up with some nice details obviously has here it's got a tick to sell free plan apps and things so we're just gonna go retest here and this will do is it will go through to the uh, .tk server name server and check that the uh, DNS have been changed. This may take a little while, so we're just going to close out there because it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the things you also have is DNS settings, you can change them. Cloudflare settings, which I might as well show you. Uh, Pauls, Cloudflare, and deep delete domain. Once it's set up, you have a couple of other options, which is page rules. So if you're, you want to move, you've suddenly moved your site, you can forward the whole of that domain to another domain, which is quite a nice uh, feature. And there's some other things in there. The developer mode will take your site. It will stop caching your site for three hours to allow you to change things, which is a nice feature. And we have, again, pause, Cloudflare, and delete your domain. Under settings, you have uh, settings overall, security settings, uh, performance. Uh, the, the one on this I have is uh, custom. Also, with the security settings, the one they don't give you on there is essentially off, which means it's not stopping, uh, or try, basically not stopping anything, which is don't rec not recommended at the height point because it's set to custom on here. Uh, you can purge the page because it caches your site on their network. You can purge individual files, which I had to use yesterday when I uploaded a, a new picture to newcreators.tk. I'm not quite sure because it wasn't on the site before, it was an old thing. It kept coming up with my not found page. Anyway, so when you purge the page cache and it should work. Or the file cache, sorry, and you can purge the whole cache, and it will 
uh, delete everything and then go and recache it again. So if you made a huge change on your site, you delete the cache, it'll go around and do it again afterwards, which is a quite nice feature. Uh, the developer mode is, like I already said, uh, automatic IP IVP IPv6, which is the new IP IP address protocol, which in this case is off. You don't really need it on. I don't know if uh, zerozowebpost.com actually supports IVP. IVP6 yet, I have no idea, they haven't actually made a statement on that, and then we have some other things which are only available in uh, Pro, Business or Enterprise, which costs a fortune Enterprise, Outbound need links, again, that's something you have to pay for, um, that you can leave on Google Analytics, you can set a setting so you can add the Google Analytics code in here, and it will add it to every single page of your site without you having to do it manually, it's, it's a system that I use and it works perfectly. And the next one down we have uh, Security Screener Connection again, which is only available in Pro Business Enterprise, and then again, editing the DNS. So, uh, guys, that is just how to, as you can see here, it doesn't take 24 hours, it's just finished through and it's set up, so that was, what, five minutes? Uh, guys, this is how to set up your uh, domain on cloudflare.com. Just to prove it still works, we're going to visit this uh, site. As you can see here, it's running up fine. But back over here, this is something people get a bit confused about. This uh, message will never go away now because your domain is not um, set up to their server names. So just ignore that message. Uh, the site will work fine on this host. It works fine for me. So, guys, that's how to set up Cloudflare on a 00.com uh, domain. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you around.